Hi there. Um, so today we're going to talk about factoring the entire process. Okay, so I want you guys to remember all the different things that we've talked about. Okay, so we have talked about common factoring, which means, for example, if I have like 2x squared, 2x cubed minus 4x squared, right, I can common factor this. So I can factor out a 2 and I can factor out an x squared. Right? And I'm left with just an x here, and I'm left with minus 2 there. Right? So that's an example of common factor. Simple trinomials could be x squared plus 8x plus 12, for example. Right? Because we can find two things. So remember, there's a 1 here. That's what makes it a simple trinomial. And now we need two things to multiply to 12 and add to 8, and 2 and 6 multiply to 12, add to 8. So we get x plus 6, x plus 2. Okay? Um, difference of squares is something where uh, we have two squares and they're subtracting. So for example, 64y squared minus 81. Okay? That's two squares, so one square minus another square. So this is 8y squared, so it'll be 8y. And this is 9, so minus 9. And the other part of that is 8y plus 9, right? So this is a difference of squares. And we get this because when we do 8y times 9, minus 9 times 8y, they cancel out. So we get no middle term, okay? So when you see two things where there's no middle term, that's going to be a difference of squares. Perfect squares is, for example, x squared plus 4x plus 4, okay? So the first part is a square, the second part is a square, and the middle part has to be 2 times whatever we squared here times whatever we squared here. So here, this is x squared, and that's 2 squared, so x times 2 is 2x, times 2 is 4x, okay? So this would end up being x plus 2 squared, all right? Um, grouping is a situation where we have, for example, um, so if we have something like this, so notice that here there's four terms, right? And what we're going to do is we're going to group each one of these, right? So now I can common factor from here, so 3x and then I'm left with x plus 2 plus here I can common factor a 2x and I'm left with x plus 2 right and now the key to group factoring is the fact that now both of these have a common factor of x plus 2 and I'm left with 3x plus 2x okay now, 3x plus 2x, we can simplify, so the actual answer of this should be x plus 2 times 5x, okay? So grouping is when you can have two groups where you can common factor something from each group, and you're left with another common factor that you can factor, okay? And complex trinomials, I think you all remember, so I'm not going to do an example right now, but you will see an example later on, okay? So these are the types of factoring that we want to deal with. Um, and today we want to talk about how do you recognize which one's which. Okay, so we're just going to do a few examples together and we're going to go through our thought process. So if I want to factor the expression 2qr minus I squ r squared plus 8q minus 4r, the giveaway to what you should use here should be the fact that there's q's and r's, okay, and there's four terms. Okay, so there's four terms there. Okay, so that would mean that you should try to group them and see what happens. Okay, so your first question is, is grouping going to work? Okay, so let's try. So out of here, I can take an R and be left with 2Q minus an R. And out of here, I can take a 4 and be left with 2q minus an r. Okay, so see how we're left with common factors there. So that now gives us r plus 4, 2q minus r. Okay, and that's it. All right, let's go to another one. 
Uh, what about this? So right away, I think you guys are thinking difference of squares, okay? Because there's something squared here, something squared here. But notice that 24 isn't a square. So what that means is um, we can try to common factor first, okay? So is there anything in common? So that should always be our first question, is there anything in common? And I could say, well, I could take a 6 out. So let's take a 6 out. So I'd be left with 4x squared minus 6y squared. Okay. I could take another 2 out. So this would become a 12 because 6 times 2 is 12. I'd be left with 2x squared minus 3y squared. And now you still want to consider, is there a difference of squares? Well, this is a square, but that's not. Here, that's a square, but that's not. So that's it. Okay, so this question is actually done. Come. Okay. What about this expression here? Um, so again, first thing is, is there th something in common between all these? So your answer should be yes. You should be able to common factor a 3. So 3x squared plus 2x minus 8. Okay. So now we're left with a complex trinomial. Okay, so I'm going to keep that three where it is, and now I want to break that complex trinomial into parts. Okay, so remember our method for complex trinomials is I need two things to multiply to 3x squared, but it has to be 3x and 3x, and I need two things to multiply to negative 8. So I don't know, let's try minus 2 and 4. Okay, so 3 times 4 is 12x x times negative 2 is minus 2x. They add up to 10, so that is not right. Okay? So let's try a different one. Now remember, we don't want to try um, 2 and negative 4, because all we're going to get is negative 10, right? If you just switch the sign, then you'll get an answer with the opposite sign. Okay, so let's try switching the numbers. So let's try 4 and negative 2. So x times 4 is 4x. 3x times negative 2 is negative 6x. So these add to negative 2, which is really close, um, but that sign is wrong. Okay, so what that means is I'm going to try negative 4 and positive 2. And now x times negative 4 is negative 4. 3x times 2 is 6x. Negative 4x and they add to 2x, which is right, okay? So one factor is 3x minus 4, another factor is x plus 2, and we're done, okay? So now notice that there's no common factors in there, no common factors in there, so we're good. Everything's factored as much as possible, okay? So here's our last one. So this is the one that we all had trouble with in class. Okay, um, so this type of factoring is a little problematic because there's this complicated stuff going on there. Okay, so remember what we want to do. We want to say, I want to make my first statement replacing that x plus 2. Okay, so now all this is going to be is y and that's going to be y, right? So I want to now see, can I factor y squared plus 5y plus 6? Okay. So this is a simple trinomial. So I want to see, is there two things that multiply to 6 and add to 5? Well, sure, there is y plus 3, y plus 2. Okay, but now you have to remember that y is actually that. Okay, so that means that my final answer is going to be x plus 2 plus 3 times x plus 2 plus 2. So that means that my final answer would be x plus 5, x plus 4. Okay? So that's completely factored. So uh, please answer the questions that accompany this, and we're going to talk a lot more about factoring tomorrow in class. All right? Bye now.